Hi, sweeties. How are you doing? Welcome to Naya Sim. And thank you all so much for the love and support. Hope you all are doing great. So this is white women's boy action, right? So I do not Trump winning. And uh, I am going to say this. I just do not understand how somebody is really overjoyed that uh, they got a Christian president. Because how can you not be worried about the economy, about uh, the human rights, about uh, medicals, about uh, so many things, right? And the only thing you are bothered about is just the fact that the person is a Christian, right? Just it. And also, some people are trying to also use the opportunity, white women, to check in on uh, black people to know how they are doing. I mean, I don't think black people are, black people are doing great. I am sure they are not surprised just that they are disappointed because some people will rather vote against their own interest because what we affect black people, we affect them. But just that some, in some ways that are, it might affect people that look like me and other group of people, um, you know, more than they do affect you people, right? But it will absolutely touch everybody. And the fact that you all think that it is something to ignore is just something I do not understand. But yeah, you all already know what they know how to do best. Let's get into this. This is going to be a little bit of a controversial opinion, okay? But I am rooting for the women who voted for Trump. I really am. I'm rooting for them. Okay, so this is my message directly to them, okay? I hope, and I mean this, I hope that you get everything that you voted for. I'm going to take it a step further. I hope that everything you voted for affects you personally. Lower gas prices? I hope you get that, queen. I really do. I also hope that you are not able to get that family you've always wanted because IVF is no longer available. I hope that you are in desperate and dire need of medical attention, but everywhere you go, no medical professional is willing to help you. I hope that as you fear for your life and are potentially dying, that you have nothing else to worry about but what will come of the children that you left behind in this world. I hope that after a traumatic pregnancy loss that you are taken to court. And I hope that you are questioned by a bunch of people that you do not know to determine whether or not they think you terminated that pregnancy on purpose. I hope that you have to relive that pregnancy loss over and over and over again in that courtroom and potentially in a jail cell. Who knows? I hope that you cannot afford childcare. I hope that you have to give up every career aspiration you've ever had, every hobby, every anything you've ever liked, um, and sacrifice it in order to stay home with your children. I hope that this takes such a toll on your family and your financial status because living off of one income if that is already difficult enough but you can't find any resources to help because you voted to end welfare i hope that when your children come of school age that you send them off to school and you do nothing but sit all day and wonder if they're ever going to come home i hope they come home hungry because like i said you don't have a job you send them off to do child care because you can't afford child care and you don't have welfare and god knows you're not getting free school lunches Okay, and I hope they come home and they treat you like dog shit. I really do. Because in school, one thing that they used to teach was empathy. Now that's some woke shit, so they don't do that anymore, okay? And all they know, all they know from what you voted for, from what the school teaches, from what their dad says, from what anybody says, that no matter how different you think you are from other women in this country, at the end of the day, you are just a woman. Okay, and women are not deserving of respect. You taught them that. You taught them that because you elected a sexist, racist, homophobic, rapist to office over a qualified woman. They saw that, they know, and they're not exactly smart because once again, Department of Education out the window, okay? All they know is women dumb, mom woman, I hate that bitch. And they're going to treat you like dog shit, and I really hope they do. And after all that, you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, I can't do all this again. I can't go through no health care. I can't take care of another kid who's going to treat me like dog shit. I can't do this again. And I hope that your husband says no to you getting contraception because you voted to give him that right. I 
hope he says no. And I know this is a long video. People are not going to get to the end before they comment. That's fucked up. That is so messed up. How could you ever wish that on somebody? I agree. It's not something that I would normally wish on my worst enemy, but guess what? Not only did you wish that on all of your fellow American women, but you voted for someone who vowed to put those practices into action. And you made that choice for all of us. So yes, I hope you get exactly what you voted for. Because if someone told me, I hope you get exactly what you voted for, I'd be like, thanks, queen. I know, because it would make the world a better place. So if you are offended by that, maybe rethink who the fuck you voted for. And I'll end it with this. My last hope for you, my last wish, okay, is that if you are ever sexually assaulted, okay, I hope that you scream from the rooftops who did it and what they did to you. I hope that you tell everyone, everyone you've ever loved, everyone you've ever cared about, everyone that you ever thought respected you as a person. And I want those screams to fall on deaf ears. And I want those same people who you told and thought respected you to take this man and lift him up to the highest position of power over you. And when you cry, and when you ask why, and when you wonder why they would do such a thing, I want them to look you dead in the eyes dead in the ice and say, well, he promised we might get cheaper gas prices. I wish that for you. I wish all of that for you. Happy, happy, happy day for you. Victory. Y'all, I'm an emotional wreck this morning. Um, first of all, praise God. I thank you, God. All over my TikTok, it is covered and people all over the world just worshiping. Not the president, but giving God all the glory. And it's beautiful. And seeing it all unfold, like right before our eyes, I'm speechless. All I can say is thank you, God. Thank you. Do we got people praying, singing, God is good. We got him praising him, giving him all the glory. We have a president that isn't afraid to talk about God. We have people working for our president who are unashamed, who when asked, how does this make you feel? All your hard work. And they say, but God. The relief I feel this morning for my sweet babies and my family and our future. Golly. We serve a good, good God. His people did not give up in the last four years. We stayed strong. We stayed faithful. And he showed up and showed out last night. And all I can say is thank you, God. This is a quick check-in. How are you going? After hearing the US election results, you might be feeling a bit worried, a bit scared, terrified, you know, all the feels. It's okay to feel those feelings. They're valid, validate them, allow them to pass. And then it's time to ground, step into our power, because we have a lot of work to do. We have a lot of work to do. I encourage you, if you know someone who is involved in the activism space, who knows how politics works, who knows how to organize communities of people to create social movements, create changes, positive social changes that actually respect human rights, get in touch with them, get in contact with them and follow them. Now, if you are following me or you are in my communities, 
you can come join me. I'm going to be supporting my members and my clients on how to engage in effective and active conversations around all these topics that are surely going to be coming up. I'm going to equip them with the information and the knowledge on manipulative tactics that campaigns and politicians will use. I'm going to equip them with information on when to engage and when not to engage. I'm going to support them in learning on how they understand or how they fit into the conversations so they can come to it from a really grounded space where they know exactly who they are, they know what those values are, they know how they can contribute to that particular cause or change and they can do it with so much power and confidence in themselves. Now if you are someone who is wanting that support get in contact with me now i mainly work with online service-based business owners and i have spaces for them but that doesn't mean that my doors are closed to anyone else please get in contact with me if you would like support if you feel the call that you need to do something as well i am here to support you it's time for us to build community and We've already recognised that our governments and our politicians do not have our best interest at heart. So we need to make the changes. We need to organise ourselves in a way that's going to make them listen. Much love to all of you out there. Be kind to yourself. Allow yourself the time to process. When we take action, let's take it from a position where we are know where we know our power, we are standing in our power, and we completely own it. We got this, but there is a long way to go. You didn't vote just against Kamala Harris. You voted for giving Trump two to three more Supreme Court picks, thus solidifying the conservative viewpoints of the Supreme Court, which will have negative consequences for generations to come. You did not vote against Kamala Harris. You voted for putting women in more direct danger during and after pregnancy. You did not vote against Kamala Harris. You voted to allow an 18 year old to die from sepsis instead of her being allowed to get an abortion. You did not vote against Kamala Harris. You voted to strip the LGBTQ plus community of their rights in this country. You did not vote against Kamala Harris. You voted for the further normalization of racist rhetoric that is already going on to devastating effects. You did not vote against Kamala Harris. You voted for giving the presidency to a man who is literally BFFs with the president of Israel and Russia. You didn't just vote against a black woman. You voted against so many other marginalized communities as well. And we will remember that. You're right. I will most likely be okay because I have the privilege of being a white woman who lives in a predominantly blue area in a predominantly blue state. The fight against women's rights and reproductive rights will directly impact me. However, I still have the privilege of where I live and what I look like that in general, yes, I will probably be okay. The difference between people like you and people like me is that I give a shit about other people. And I care about the people who don't have my privilege, who don't look like me, who don't live in relatively safe areas, who don't live in safe states, because they are going to be the ones most negatively impacted by this presidency. And I still give a shit about that. I don't need something to personally negatively affect me for me to care that it's negatively affecting other people. Once again, difference between people like you and people like me. You don't care because you have the belief that you will be okay no matter how bad it gets. However, I'm also going to tell you that the phrase I never thought leopards would eat my face exists for a reason and after they've gone after every single other group they're eventually going to come for you too Hi, my fellow white women, as we have conversations about cutting off men who vote against your human rights, I need you to start applying that mindset to the women in your life as well. Because the amount of white women who voted for Trump is absolutely disgusting. I know it's so easy to go like, oh, but they're my girly, they're my bestie, I can't ever cut them off. This is just a little difference of a pin. No, if you stand for the things you claim to stand for, if you have the morals that you should, 
You cannot have that person in your life. Best case scenario, they are just very uneducated. And if that's the case, you need to point out to their face that they are uneducated and doing a horrible thing. Because you don't get a pass for supporting Trump just because you're a woman. You don't get a pass for supporting Trump just because you're any minority group or any oppressed group. Because yes, while it will eventually come back to bite them, it's biting the rest of us at the same time. And while we're at it, start calling out people who claim like, I'm just not political. I just don't get involved with politics. Because like, if you are a grown ass adult and you're like, politics are scary, I just can't think about it. That is concerning. Being neutral in the face of oppression and fascism makes you on the side of the bad guys. So no, we're not dealing with those people anymore. We're not accepting that as okay. If you voted for Trump, I have one question for you. What should President Trump do on his first day in office? Number one, announce that Project 2025 is now the law of the land. It's a joke, of course. Number two, file the Secretary of Health immediately. Number three, repeal every executive order of the previous administration. Number four, free every political prisoner of January 6th. Number five, start mass deportation and start specifically with all the celebrities who said they're gonna leave the country if President Trump wins. <laughs> and last but not least, number six, publish the Diddy and the Epstein list. I'm sorry, I'm a terrible person. Give me your answers. How is it possible that the people who are claiming that they're the most loving and accepting are the ones that show to be not accepting at all unless you vote like them? I saw a post of this woman voted for Kamala Harris and she was clearly distraught and clearly upset her best friend voted for Donald Trump and so she wasn't sure if she should continue that relationship with her best friend and I've seen so many videos right now especially where people are cutting off their friends their family members because they voted for Donald Trump into the comments and I see this comment not all relationships are meant to last a lifetime well that's that's true it isn't a friend if they couldn't consider how this could affect you so here here is why I'm like what on earth our best friend was supposed to think about her when she voted aren't we allowed to have our own vote and aren't we allowed to vote in our own best interest in the best interest of our family and interest of our children this comment is literally telling you and I suppose the person who wrote this comment is a Kamala supporter, that that person should have voted for Kamala because Kamala was in the best interest of the creator, her best friend. You can find plenty of friends with the same value as you. That is true. But they've been friends for many, many years. And you're telling her to cut that friendship because her best friend voted for Donald Trump. I find it so mind-blowing and so unacceptable. The people that are claiming to be the most loving and the most accepting are literally showing us that they're the complete opposite. You're not loving or accepting unless you vote like them. Pretty much, that's what they're telling you. We don't want anything to do with you if you voted for Donald Trump. This is crazy. You guys are literally showing what kind of people you are right now. I was just walking down the street to go get my medication because I'm out and I need it for today. <laughs> and I saw a woman walking her two kids and she had this look on her face. And I looked at her, we made eye contact, and we both kind of nodded. <laughs> like we were both <laughs> just devastated. And you could just tell in her, in her eyes. <laughs> I can't believe this country did this again. <laughs> Why did I let myself have hope? <laughs> if you voted for Trump in this last election, the last time you ran, or the time before that, please do me the honor of unfriending me, unfollowing me, blocking me, pretty much having nothing to do with me. Um, this is more than politics. I don't think people understand that sometimes. Uh, we can't agree to disagree on this. That doesn't work for me. This is about your morals in life. You voted for a man who is anti my family, um, anti women, anti LGBTQ, anti literally everyone who isn't a white, cis, rich male. I hope you guys are happy with that. So, yeah, go ahead. Please don't follow me. I don't want anything to do with y'all. Um, when it all pans out that the felon fucks you over, don't come crying to us because we warned you. 
to everyone else, I love you. Keep good, fighting the good fight. Have a fantastic Wednesday. I don't understand it, to be honest. I don't understand how you could be a woman and then vote for Trump. It doesn't make any sense. It's, yeah, sorry, it's like, it's like having your dog drive a car because he likes car rides or something. Like it just says, like it doesn't, none of it makes any sense. Do you know what I mean? People seem in shock this morning, frankly. You know, I mean, maybe it's an extremist way of looking at it, but. So this is all I got from this video. And I mean, I know internet, it's really been crazy. And uh, I just do not understand this people, sincerely speaking. Some will tell you that uh, you all are not smart enough. But when you check around and look at the people that are not smart enough, you definitely will understand because some people are sincerely not smart, but they don't want to understand. They don't want to listen. And how are we supposed to help you? We cannot help you. If Israel, whatever Israel is doing right now at your place, you guys should go look for a way to fix that up because black people cannot be of help to you, right? Go and call white men to help you. Um, I mean, like, you know, I just kept seeing different videos popping up and all of that only to find that, that they were also advised also, like, you know, instead of voting for Kamala Harris, vote for the other person. And to tell you how blind some people are, they did. And now they are coming out here to shade and gaslight themselves. Like, how is this even possible? Really? How is this possible? How can somebody be dumb and at the same time proud? You cannot be dumb and proud, right? Some are saying that uh, black people are Islamophobia, black people are dysphobia and all of that. You all have refused to understand it and we cannot continue to explain all this to you. She is not being, I mean, like, you know, nobody is being any phobia here, but they are trying to let you all know that uh, you all voted against your own interest. The person that you all pushed towards we also not help you. I have also brought videos here where he said, uh, told Netanyahu that uh, I cannot wait so we can help you finish the job. I mean, they feel like they, uh, they, whatever that has been going down to uh, uh, Israel, it's been given by uh, probably the president, vice president, in fact, like not even the president, the vice president, because everybody's anger is going towards the vice president. And I have been asking them, are you guys really that, like, you know, don't you know that you have a president? I mean, I have never seen anybody blaming uh, Joe Biden. It's always Kamala Harris. It's really crazy, but it is what it is, right? Now, I really just don't understand. These people really effed up. They sincerely speaking, they messed up. And things are not getting, we never get any better because they think it's weird. Now, to everybody boycotting and all that, for those that have decided, like I, sincerely speaking, I did boycott some certain things. I did. And uh, I am out. Let me just, for those that have missed Starbucks, if you want to go drink, why not? Feel free to go drink your Starbucks because the people we are trying to help are not thinking of you. And for anybody that said that they are allies, they are not any allies. There are opportunities, people that are looking for like you know an, an opportunity to uh, to tap into whatever you got you, you have and then run away when you don't have that thing. These are the kind of people, and people like this are very dangerous, right? The fact that they are looking at they I don't know how what they think, and whoever that advised them, you can vote for Trump. I just do not know how they wake up to do something like that without even thinking. And they are out there running their mouth. <laughs> keep running your mouth. And when I say keep running your mouth, keep running your mouth. Time will tell. And how many months before you know what it's going on? Boom. I really cannot wait to see what he got in stock for you people because it's really going to be an amazing season for all of you. All of you. Screaming free, free. You know what? Free Congo, free Sudan, 
free heady because some people choose not to like you know to be useful to themselves and they do not need your help and see like the genius i don't know if, the, if i pronounced her name correctly but if i did not please the, i think the germ the germ please uh, forgive me the dark black girl that uh the arabic man stitched her video she said do not call black women if anything happens and please you all should never bother to call black men or black women because shout out to black men and black women they all came all out irrespective of everything with the way i was seeing things on the internet i was thinking i wasn't going to see black men's vote shout out to you all i love you all with all my heart i mean you all came through for yourselves you all did it so do not bother to call black men do not bother to call black women because at this point in time this is their resting period so black women black men go rest and let's see how it unfolds see you all in my next video bye for now